Hey guys, welcome to the Imperial Outpost. And as always, it's good to have you along. Now, I have here from Ruby's Princess Leia's blaster that uh, she used during a New Hope against the Stormtroopers. And unfortunately, that's the only real time that uh, it was used, or, or we saw it anyway. Um, but this one, before it can go into my collection, I'm going to need to do a bit of a repair to it and a respray. Because let's face it, nobody wants that in their collection, do they? White and orange. So, uh, yeah. Let's do this. So here's a blaster guys. What I said earlier, it's going to need a repair. Um, so we've got the site here that wants repairing. So I'm going to find something to uh, make that. And also we have a split down here. Okay, so I will be uh, repairing that as well. But I I think what, what we'll do with that is uh, use filler on it and that should uh, fill it in quite well. The trigger doesn't work on these guns but as I say it's just a just a basic display piece. Um, got a nice nice textured grip there with the two screws that side and two screws that side. So first off what we're going to need to do is take off some right in here okay, on the handle now it's probably very difficult for you guys to see that but there's some writing if you can see that there there's some writing down there that i'm going to need to uh, take that off and once that's off and i've rubbed everything down i will then be filling in the seam lines Okay, so we've got seam lines down there that run all the way around the back and under there, down there. So we're going to fill all those in and then basically get everything rubbed down and uh, that will then be ready for spraying. The reason why we rub it down is basically to give something for the paint to grip onto basically so once it's all rubbed down we we put some layers of primer on it uh, and then once that's dried we then go on to the um, coats of uh, black now for this we're going to need some sandpaper so i'm using this 120 to 240 grit nail file i understand this is quite good for um, especially getting rid of the uh, the markings on on things so we're going to be using that and we're going to be using some 400 grit paper to go over wet well, 400 wet and dry paper to go over the rest of it for the seams we're going to be using some standard knife in putty basically with the knife in putty you put it on uh, whether you want to use the applicator here or your fingers it's up to you let it dry for about 30 to 40 minutes rub it down and if you need to put any more on you can do um, but that's that so that's basically what what we're going to do I'll start by rubbing off the uh, writing on here uh, the the, this this part of the top, the site, I will do that once it's all rubbed down, I'll then sort that out. But first off, let's uh, get uh, get it rubbed rubbed down. Oh, the, the, as I say, look, that, there's a bit of uh, writing on there. But uh, yeah, so uh, let's uh, let's get started. There we 
go. It's easy as that. So now that's uh, the writing rubbed off. What we do, we go over to the wet and dry and uh, give it all a rub. A few moments later. Okay guys, so that's the uh, initial sanding of the gun. Um, you can tell because it's rather than smooth, there's there's a little bit of a texture to it. So that's how you know that uh, you, 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 you've got the sanding right, okay? So, next what we're gonna need to do is fill these seam lines in okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get all the seam lines filled in I've still got as I stated before we have to cover this break around here now for this the the, the site at the top I've managed to stick together uh, some bit of plastic and that will then stick on top there like that. Um, but before I stick it on top, I'm gonna I'm gonna put some putty all around there, sand it down so it's it's nice and secure. And then just before we spray, I will stick it on there. But I'll I'll, I'll do that later. First off, we need to get some putty in there and then. Let it dry for half an hour and then sand it down. So uh, let's uh, let's get on with that. And as I say, I'm using the knife in putty there. So basically, get a piece on your applicator and then just smooth it on. Okay, so <clears throat> okay, so that's the putty on. I did use my hands as well, um, but yeah. So we've got to let that dry for about thirty minutes, and then we'll uh, we'll give it a rub down and uh, see if it needs another another going over. So uh, we'll uh, we'll come back in thirty minutes. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, so that's the rubbing down complete. We've uh, tried to hide the uh, seam lines the best I can. Okay, so now uh, we will go on to the spraying. I've managed, as you can see, to fabricate a site here and I've stuck that on with super glue. So if we leave that alone, that should be fine. So next we'll put on some gray primer We'll probably need a couple of coats for that and then we'll uh, start with the uh, black but uh, I think that's the best that I'm going to get this anyway but we'll see how it, it turns out hopefully uh, we should we should be okay so uh, yeah on to the spraying okay for the uh, spray painting side of it we shall be using a grey primer with a matte black, a dusting of metallic silver, and then we will use a matte varnish and a gloss varnish, which I will show you where that will be applied. There we are guys, that's the grey primer all on. So what we're going to need to do is allow this to dry uh, before we put the uh, coat of matte black on. So uh, I'll leave this overnight and then we'll carry on.
Okay guys, that's all the matte black done. And I've got to say, I'm pretty pleased with uh, the outcome at the moment. Now, it does have a few imperfections from the putty and the sanding, but uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with that at the moment. I mean, it's not 100% perfect, but in the Star Wars universe, there's nothing that looks completely new, if you know what I mean. You know, and, and I think the effect of the imperfections actually give it you know, a bit of like wear and tear. So, uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with the uh, way this is turning out. This is my first attempt. So, uh, yeah, pretty good show you so as you can see there's a few imperfections on that but overall it's uh, pretty good very pleased with the site here that I've fabricated it's on there nice and solid but uh, yeah it's, uh, it's looking really good so the next stage now, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to put some weathering on this. So uh, let's carry on. So for the weathering, I'm going to use gunmetal grey. Um, you could use silver and all that, but I've, I've gone with the gunmetal grey. And it's going to be the dry, dry brush effect. So a bit of paint on your brush. Just brush the excess off and then just put it on the areas where you see the general wear and tear of the gun. As you know, when you, you put it down, etc., it's just this slight, subtle dusting basically. You know, like on the trigger guard. Sorry, not trigger guard, on the trigger. I'm just going to have a bit on there. It's been used. So you just carry on the areas that you, you, you want to put it on. It's up to you how much you want to put on, what kind of look you're looking for. Yeah. So, uh, if you can see that on there. Let's uh, I'll, uh, crack on. So I'm quite pleased with the weather in there. As I say, it's uh, it's a technique that really makes the gun stand out. So I'm very very happy with with that. I don't know if the camera shows it up, but uh, yeah. Like I say, it's just subtle touches all over. Where, you know, the wear and tear that uh, you would be fiddling, you know, like moving the thumb on there, that would wear the paint off there. But uh, yeah, happy with that. 
So, I'm gonna leave that to dry a little bit, and then the next stage we'll we'll give it a a matte varnish over, and then once the matte varnish is gone over, I'm then gonna mask up everywhere because this part here will be a gloss varnish and and the handle here. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Okay, so we've got the matte varnish on, and uh, I've got to say it does give it a nice a nice texture to it. So basically, we've uh, sealed in the paint. So now what we've got to do is mask up. So I will mask up because this bit here, as I said, and the handle will have a coat of gloss varnish just to make it pop. So uh, I'll get on and uh, mask it up. Um, and uh, once it's masked up, we are on with the varnish. So uh, talk amongst yourselves. Okay, once you've done the masking, it's time to put the last coat of varnish on. This time it will be gloss on the handle and on this part of the barrel. So uh, let's, uh, let's do that now. Here we are guys, absolutely awesome looking gun. Really, really pleased with the way this has turned out. It's turned out better than, than what I expected. The gloss varnish and that webbing just brings this gun to life absolutely fantastic gonna look great in my collection so thanks very much everyone feel free to leave a comment don't forget to like and subscribe and until the next video long live the Empire